Hello, my name is William Vieira, and I am going to be your instructor for this tutorial. Uh, I am. I was asked by quite a few people uh, that wanted to know how to do this. Uh, this like make a simple adjustment, taking out green screen and adding like an image and being able to. Well, I'm not going to go into the uh, special effects thing. This is just strictly about adding green screen and taking out the green screen and you know that's what I mean taking out the green screen and uh, adding backgrounds so to do this I'm going to start a new composition and I'm gonna keep that to the same size take my video here yep. way up here there we go drop it down into your composition layer there and make sure you have it selected and choose effects, uh, keying, and choose key light. Uh, you have other different versions, I mean, like color key and stuff like that, but key light is the one you want if you have it. Uh, okay, now, as you can see, here's your green, here's the green screen, and you have it right here, screen color. You have a little black box, which you could just uh, choose a color that resembles or comes closer to that or choose an RGB color if you know the actual hue or RGB color for that but it's so much simpler just to choose the little color dropper there and uh, color picker and just come over here and click anywhere in the green and voila pretty much all the green is gone but now you're thinking well that looks like crap <laughs> I mean, look at all the black. You got all this black and gray, and and uh, the, the image around the person is really fuzzy. And well, I never said it was not going to be like that, uh, but that can be fixed. Uh, if you go to screen mat, you can see where all the extra was left over right in here. So you can see all the gray. Here. And, and everything else. Son, please, thank you. <laughs> that was my son, Andrew. Uh, anyway, uh, we can get rid of this by coming down here to the screen mat, and you have clip black and clip white. And what that does really is it clips the colors to come closer together. Basically, what we're looking for is an all white image like an all white sil uh, silhouette of myself here and an all black background now everything in white is revealed everything in black is concealed that's the old saying black conceals white reveals uh, so just you just bring up this little slider until you don't see any more grace even specs sometimes you may have to even zoom in and pan around especially around where it was really thick and it looks like I did a pretty good job right off the bat go ahead and bring that in some you see now if you bring it in too much you can start cutting into your image and that's not what we want so let's go back about say it was 40 43% is pretty good. Now to bring out the uh, white, we take the white and we come down the opposite direction towards zero. And it looks like we did pretty good there. Back out. Yeah, we still got a lot of fuzziness around the edge, but we'll take care of that here in a second. Now, see, uh, I can keep coming down and that would be okay. Also notice that whenever your white or black crosses the percentage threshold with each other, they will flip your mask. Now if I was to look at my mask, or the final result, it has actually cut me completely out. Now if I go back up and flip it the other way, it takes me but I can't see anything in this because I can't tell if I'm getting all the black. It takes me back to where I was. So just enough to take out all that black. And we're done there. Now 
we can go back to the finished result and as you see now all the black is gone and all the frames so we don't have to worry about that my little stick is still nice and intact Got plenty of plenty there to work with <coughs> so now there's to, to uh, tackle the problem with the uh, fuzziness and uh, the pixelization that's going on right there along the edge there we, we need to add another effect so let's go ahead and decompress this key light and we'll come up here and add effect go to matte simple choker a simple choker is basically it refines it will choke the edge around your image and we we'll, we'll want to go back to matte on underneath the simple choker and we expand the simple, I mean the choke mat, and we'll go towards the positive end because going to the negative end will just bring black back around your image, just around the uh, around the silhouette. So we bring this up just so ever so slightly, but not too much because if you bring too much, you can actually start cutting into your image and it would look really tacky especially like right in there I, mean, I can't really tell from here look at the final yeah you can see there's so that, yeah that that right there will probably work now I'm just kinda eyeing it here because uh, kinda doing this in a hurry there now to add the image or a background it's just simply a drag and drop you just go back to your project tablet right there and uh, say I want to add uh, this funny guy my friend Brad at school wanted to try something funny and it kind of was kind of cool but now you see you can add an uh, a video even not just images but videos to the uh, oh, <laughs> to the back end there I mean in, into the background so and I could delete that and just go to my picture file and put my picture in there Voila. there's my image and of course the other ones are quite distracting so so I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was short and sweet, but I've like had to re-record this like a dozen times because uh, my other mic wasn't very good, and my last couple recordings, recording was it was flashing and giving me like some clipping. Uh, it was just terrible. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the movie, and I hope this answered a lot of the questions on how to do this. And look for my tutorials other tutorials in the future where I'll be doing stuff for Illustrator, Dreamweaver, uh, 3ds Max, After Effects such as today, uh, uh, InDesign, any, pretty much anything Adobe, uh, 3ds Max stuff I, I enjoy as well and other like the 3d type uh, programs anyway uh, hope you have a good day and God bless.